Hey Virgo, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you're doing well. This is your general love reading for September 2021. We're going to take a look and see what's going on for you guys in love. If this is your reading, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, okay? Um, I do have my sale going on for Labor Day. It's till the end of Monday. Everything is 10% off of my Etsy shop from my personal readings, email readings, Tarot, Oracle deck, Spiritual Jewelry. Check it out if you're interested. Your bonus extended reading for September. Why is your person not communicating? It's up on Vimeo. I will leave the link in the description box, okay? You can um, find it on Vimeo, okay? Let's jump right in, Virgo. If this is your reading, do give me a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. All right, Virgo, let's jump right in. Give me clarity here for virgos virgo sun moon rising and venus in love virgos in love all right so the current energy is the moon okay so the moon talks about secrets things that are hidden um there may be something here regarding someone that you're dealing with virgo where you feel this person has been holding back okay you may feel uneasy around them i'm getting intuitively you may pick up that something is off we have the Seven of Cups in reverse, so there has been some confusion here. Maybe in the past, maybe there's a lot of confusion regarding your feelings for this person or this person may be confused about their feelings for you. I'm also seeing a lot of you guys, there's something here about not being able to read this person. You may find it very difficult to read them because they hide it, okay? They repress their emotions. We have the Five of Cups in reverse, okay? I do see that... Whoever this person is, Virgo, I feel there's been some hurt in the past. There's been some disappointments. And I'm getting that neither one of you guys have truly been able to move on from this. Okay, But I'm getting that someone does have some regrets about how they did something or how they treated you, what they may have said. And I'm getting that maybe they're holding back right now. A lot of you guys, you don't know how this person feels because they don't want to express to you um, the hurt or the regret that they feel for doing something in the past. Okay, It could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's a lot of hidden feelings here with whoever you're dealing with. And the challenge is for you to become more clear on where you stand with this person, Virgo. But it may be very difficult. Now, in a recent past, we have the Five of Swords in reverse, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse, and we have the Page of Cups. Um, some of you guys, there's someone here who may want to apologize and ask for forgiveness for something. I feel like they're having a difficult time talking to you. Uh, the Queen of Swords in reverse is telling me that someone is closed off to talking or they don't want to talk. There could have been a fight or argument with the Five of Swords and you guys have not been able to overcome it. Um, in fact, the argument or whatever this conflict is, is keeping you and your person at a distance from each other. And I'm getting that neither one of you guys are willing to take action. And I'm getting someone is holding back an apology. Someone feels bad for something they've done. And I'm even feeling they may have wanted to, to ask for forgiveness, but they don't know how to talk to you. They don't know how to express their love. With the moon card, there's definitely someone who's afraid to talk to you right now, okay? They're afraid to um, communicate that. Now, let's see what's on your mind, Virgo. We have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Two of Cups here. We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Three of Swords in reverse. So I feel like this is someone here that you obviously have a very strong connection with. I do see this is someone that you may be healing from, some kind of heartbreak. There may have been some kind of betrayal, some kind of ending that left you really feeling devastated. This is something that you may be healing from, or maybe you're just healing from a past uh, situation where you've been hurt. I do feel this is someone that you're trying to decipher if you should continue to hold on to this, if you should just let it go, okay? There's something here about you holding back or maybe even waiting to decipher if this is something you still want to invest in, if you still want to move toward this person if it has the potential to grow for um something long term so i do feel um i do feel like virgo you have a, a very very again strong connection you do care about this person but there's something here where you're unsure if this is something you still want to um contribute to okay let's see what your person's energy is some of you guys are dealing with a um it could be any sign. We got strong earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. Let's see what's in the foundation. We have the seven of swords. We have the knight of wands. Ace of wands in reverse. Six of swords. 
and the six of wands. So what I'm seeing is that this is definitely someone here who's strategizing. They want to be able to strategize on how to uh, come toward you. There's the energy of wanting a new beginning, but not really sure of how to get something back up and running. Because the ace of wands came out in the verse. It could be a Leo, Sag, Aries. This is someone who wants to overcome some conflict from the past. They want to go into peaceful, calm waters with you. In fact, they're maybe working on taking action towards you, coming up with the confidence, the willpower to move towards you. Okay, this is someone who's very much inspired to have a victory with you. They do want to win. They do want to achieve something here with you, okay? So let's get the outcome here. We definitely have a strong fire energy. What's the outcome here for this connection? We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Ten of Cups, okay? We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Ace of Swords. So I do feel like there's definitely going to be a conversation, okay, coming into the near moment and in your future. And this conversation is going to be about um, whether this is something you both want to continue to invest in. I feel like this is someone here who obviously makes you happy. You both may make each other happy. There's the energy of seeing each other um, with this Ten of Cups, right? Happiness, fulfillment, coming together, making each other happy. But the, the question is if this is something here that can come back together and be stable, okay? There may have been some kind of ending or, um, you know, conflict that really cause some damage here in the foundation and there's an energy of really deciding if this is something you both want to continue to invest in so i do feel like there's some kind of communication coming through it could be a text it could be um you know word of mouth but there's definitely communication you guys are going to be talking to each other and really figuring this out so let's get some clarity here virgo this is for you i want to find out why this person is in this moon energy um i do feel like this is someone that you're dealing with okay um, it's also could be you. Some of you guys is a Pisces you're dealing with. Tell me more about the moon. Why is someone hiding? What are they hiding? And, you know, why are they holding back? Three of Swords came out, the Fool in reverse, and we have the King of Swords in reverse. So this is definitely someone here that you're not communicating with, and that's why they could be coming across with the moon, because if you're not communicating with them, you don't really know what's going on, you don't know their feelings, you don't know their intentions. So some of you guys, it's not necessarily a secret here. They just may be coming across as someone who is secretive because you're just not communicating with them right now. But what I'm seeing is that this is someone here that broke your heart, Virgo. There's someone here who caused you a lot of pain and hurt. They may have stabbed you in the back. They may have just, you know, said something that really hurt you deeply. And I do feel this is something um, that your person deeply regrets. There's a lot of remorse and sadness and disappointment in themselves for something that may have happened in the past. I do feel like that this is something that you guys are actively trying to overcome and move on from. But I also see that this is someone who may feel as if you don't trust them or you'd be unwilling to move forward with them, okay? There's something here that your person may want, but they feel like it would be too risky. They feel like you wouldn't um, be ready, okay? They feel like you wouldn't um, take that that initiative to um, move forward with them okay so there's someone here who may be afraid to talk to you tell me more about the five of cups what is this person there's something that this person regrets five of cups is clarified by the empress in reverse and the six of wands i feel like um this is someone here who may have not put you first okay with the empress in reverse they may have not shown you that they really cared for you they may have not made you a priority in their life you may have felt as if this person didn't truly care okay there's something here where you didn't feel worthy you didn't feel like this person um appreciated you and you may have even felt they took advantage of you for their own success for uh attention of others okay you may have felt they put others before you okay so I'm seeing an energy of you guys becoming or trying to become more clear on where you stand with this person. And it's very difficult because right now there's there's no communication. So definitely check out the extended because that is um that's gonna give you more clarity of why this person is not communicating. Okay, so check that out if you guys are interested. In a recent past, we have the Queen of Swords in verse. I do feel like this is someone that you had a falling out with, and I'm getting someone cut the other person out. We have the five of swords. Tell me more about the five of swords. It's some kind of conflict in the past. Five of Swords is clarified by the strength in reverse, the Six of Pentacles in reverse with the Knight of Wands. Virgo, I'm seeing that there's someone here who you may have felt was giving very little or was holding back from you. There's the energy of them being very resistant and be un unwilling. I'm getting stubborn as well. Uh, I do see this as someone here that you may have had some issues or conflicts regarding reciprocity. You may have felt that... You were giving a lot more than this person. You may have felt they were not giving enough. And that could have been the real reason why you guys were in conflict with each other. I'm also getting the energy that you may have felt, Virgo, this person kind of came and went as they, they pleased, right? They ultimately did things whenever they wanted to. 
on their time and is the energy of being very inconsistent and a lot of you guys you didn't like that and it's telling me that you may have decided to cut them out you may have decided to tell them about themselves or there may have been some kind of fight or argument regarding their inconsistencies tell me more about the page of cups to someone who may want to apologize to something here Page of Cups is clarified by the Eight of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. I'm getting in a recent past, instead of really hearing you out, Virgo, this is someone who may have decided to walk away from you. They may have decided to just let you, I'm um, getting abandoned you, disconnect from you, walk away, and not not tell you anything there's someone here who may have silenced you may have ghosted you and they didn't give you any clarity any truth they just decided to just walk away i do feel some of you guys they may even have walked away to go to a third party and that really made you upset that made you even more mad and some of you guys you really decided to block this person and cut them out of your life um because i'm getting like they just only made the matter worse but I do feel like instead of addressing the conflict, the issue regarding, you know, um, equal give and take, reciprocity, there's something here where this person just decided, oh, I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to not deal with it at all and just, you know, leave you, Virgo. And that's not the way you handle a situation, right? So I do feel like this person didn't even try, okay? They weren't willing to try or, or um, even, you know, have a healthy conversation about it. So let's see, a lot of you guys, um, they're, again, very strong connection, the two of cups, you do think about this person, you do care, but there's a there's an energy of you deciding if this is something even worth holding on to because this is someone that's caused you a lot of hurt. Tell me more about the four pentacles. Why is Virgo deciding with the four pentacles that this is even worth holding on to? There's something here where you're thinking about letting it go. Why? We have the ten of cups. Queen of Swords in reverse and a Ten of Wands in reverse. A lot of you guys are thinking about letting this person go simply because you just want to be happy, right? The Queen of Swords in reverse, if this person's not communicating, then there's no sense in you forcing it. A lot of you guys, you're feeling it's it's burdening you, right? It's not your responsibility to um, make this person talk or communicate or, you know, be accountable for something. And a lot of you guys, you just want to be happy. You want your peace of mind. It's, it's you know, it's like, why am I going to be chasing this person, getting them to talk, Right, And so a lot of you guys are thinking about just completely letting it go and dropping this. Tell me more about these uh, Three of Swords energy. There's something that you're, you're healing from, for sure, that caused a lot of hurt. Two of Wands in verse, Nine of Swords in verse. Yeah, a lot of you guys, it's, it's not something easy to do, but I do see you guys being somewhat indecisive, but now making a decision. And this decision is really because, you know, this connection has brought you a lot of stress, a lot of anxieties, worries. You're spending a lot of time up at late at night thinking about this over and over and over. And a lot of you guys, you're choosing to let this go. Right? You've been at a crossroads or you've been stuck because this is someone that you really do care about with the two of cups. But at the same time, I'm getting that you guys are realizing this person is not stable or they're not offering you the stability that you need. In fact, they're making you feel very unstable and insecure of yourself, right? As if you're not good enough or you're not worthy enough. So um, with that Empress in reverse. So let's get some more clarity on your person's energy. I do feel like this is someone who may not be speaking it, but they definitely want a new beginning with you. The Ace of Wands came out in the verse, so they may be unsure of how to have this new beginning. But what's very clear is that they are working on it. They're strategizing and they are wanting to go into common waters with the Six of Swords and be victorious with the Six of Wands. So tell me more about this person strategizing. What's really going on behind the scenes? This could be a Leo Sag Aries that you're dealing with. We have the Magician in reverse, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse, and we have the Page of Wands in reverse. So yeah, I do feel like this is someone who may not be showing you, they may not be communicating this to you, they may not be really um, showing you they're putting much effort at all. But what I'm seeing is this is someone who's definitely trying to manifest behind the scenes. It could be a Gemini you're dealing with. They're trying to change the whole situation around, trying to change the direction at which this is gone. I'm also seeing that there's a lot of confusion here, right? There's a lot of confusion maybe about how you feel for them. They may be very confused um, if you still care for them because there's a lot of um, emotions here but there's a lot of hesitancy there's a lot of pushing back and i'm um, getting just being unsure and doubting something so tell me more about the six of swords and the ace of wands it's definitely someone who wants a new beginning to be able to overcome this conflict with you four of pentacles in reverse the high priestess and the world some of you guys are done with the pisces this is definitely someone here who may be um I'm getting they're very secretive. I don't know why they're in this high priestess energy. There's something here they're not telling you. Um, but I also feel like this is someone who may be willing to overcome and let go of something where they may have some shortcomings. Okay, I'm getting that this is someone who may walk away um, and isolate themselves or, you know, I'm getting like 
push you, push you away when things get tough instead of dealing with the matter. I'm getting someone who's very non-confrontational and I'm getting that, you know, they may kind of just walk away. But I also feel this is someone who is being um, challenged to come back and deal with the matter head on. And this could be something here that they're having to learn. It could be a lesson that they're having to um, be taught. I do feel like this person is not willing to just really drop what they have with you because, again, they do want to be victorious with the Six of Wands, but they may also realize they may have to let go of their stubbornness, their their uh, resistance, their inability to be open-minded, or there's something that this person may have to let go that can really help this connection all together, and that is something that they may be learning here, okay? Um, let's find out more about the Six of Wands. They do want to be victorious with you. Yeah, look at this. I'm getting that your person may feel... There's, there's a, definitely a new beginning that wants to happen, okay? So Taurus, um, I'm sorry, Taurus, Virgo, um, you could be dealing with the Taurus, but the King of Pentacles in verse is your energy. So Virgo, you're definitely kind of have your, your back turned toward them and they're wanting to be victorious with you. They're wanting to offer this new beginning. Some of you guys, a victory would be them being in a relationship with you or offering a new brand relationship, okay? So that's what they want to, they want to win you back. It's what it's telling me. Um, this could be a little difficult because I do feel, um, Virgo, you got your back turned, right? You're kind of questioning them. You may not look to them for stability anymore but we do have a lot of communication coming in finally the ace of swords is some kind of breakthrough and victory and i feel like virgo this could really be making you happy tell me more about this communication that's coming in for virgo i hope i haven't been calling you taurus the entire reading i almost feel like taurus has been on my uh on my mind here um some of you guys are definitely dealing with the taurus tell me about the ace of swords and the outcome three of wands the king of wands and verse the five of pentacles I'm getting this is someone who is willing to wait for you, okay? There may be communication coming through. And if you're so hesitant, because someone may be hesitant, we have the Ten of Pentacles in verse. This is like, uh, I don't know if I can do this anymore. I don't see stability here. I feel like this is someone who may wait for you. There's the energy of someone waiting waiting for the right time waiting for the right opportunity they do feel blocked out by you they feel maybe left out in a cold by you virgo okay this is someone that you may have blocked maybe you're just um you pushed away okay after they may have left and there's the energy of them wanting to get back in your life but not being sure how this could be a leo or sag and aries but what it's telling me is that there's definitely communication coming in because this person does care and they do want to be present in your life in some way, okay? So there's definitely communication coming through. And I feel like ultimately um, they do wish to have a new beginning with you, the Ace of Cups. They want to be able to get to this place where they win you back and you guys are able to get back to this um, a place of um, harmony, okay? Coming together and being happy. So Virgo, <laughs> Virgo, that is your reading. Um, let me know if this resonates with you guys, Virgo. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. And again, your extended bonus reading, Why Is Your Person Not Communicating for September? It's up on Vimeo. Check it out if you're interested. All right, you guys all take care. Have a great start to your week. All right.